since I started using this one so excuse me yeah it's really really good I really like it and right now we're gonna do my brows I've really been liking the like feathered brow I'm pretty sure that's like the term for it uh, if it's not then correct me I have been using the Patrick Ta um, brow wax but today I'm going to be trying out the Anastasia brow freeze and it's like a it says it's a styling wax but it doesn't feel waxy like I don't know how to explain it but it doesn't feel waxy okay so I'm gonna take my spoolie from elf and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just dip my brush in here the texture is definitely different from the um well, let me take out this somewhere as well just so i could see myself the texture is definitely different from the patrick ta brow wax just because it's more stiff I do like that this is wet though because like it's a little easier to manipulate and work with in my opinion in my very humble opinion um i've never used my product this product before it's my first time so so far good first impression i do really like it it's literally like i put gel or something on my brows like if i didn't have um this product or the patrick ta brow wax It's definitely giving. That works so fast. That's insane. That works so fast. But I like that you can still move the hair around and manipulate it to how you want it to be. Like your brow isn't stuck there. That's cool. I like that. I like that. And I feel like there's this kind of like debate of whether you really like this product or um, you like hate this product. I've seen both sides where some people really like this product, other people don't. Um, I just feel like it's a preference kind of thing because some people still like to use soap in their brows and that's perfectly fine. I feel like whatever works for you just works for you. I feel like whenever I do my brows like this, like before I put the rest of my makeup on, I look insane. I just did my eyebrows, so usually I would fill in my eyebrows, but since I just did them, I'm not going to fill them in. Um, just cause my brows already look pretty full. I'm not really seeing any of my 
sparser areas. Um, the only thing I might do is the tails of my brows and even then I don't think I want to. I think they look okay for the most part. So I really love the fact that you can manipulate your brows afterwards. You can do the same thing with the uh, Patrick Ta as well. So I think it's just in terms of preference of what you're looking for. But this product is really easy. So if like you're a beginner and you want to do the like fluffy eyebrow trend, I would say to get this because it's so easy. You would just dip your brush in a couple times and then uh, get to work. And you can do your brows as you like them. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer. Just wanted to make sure I was taking the correct one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're just going to conceal under my brows. That looks good. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my makeup. I am gonna clean my sponge first though. Okay, now we're gonna conceal. And I use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And I just put that on my dark circles. And uh, any dark marks or discoloration on my face. I really like to do underpainting because it just makes my skin look so good. Like ever since I started doing my makeup this way, my skin just looks so good. Like my base, it just I'm sticking to this method until it doesn't work anymore and I have to find something new. But thus far, it's been working amazingly and I love it. So now, while we're here, I had to re-up on concealer. So I made a trip to Ulta with the family and I got my highlight shade because I already have my conceal shade, so I just needed my highlight shade. And to highlight, I use Deep Chestnut. Don't we just love a fresh concealer? And now I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> and when I conceal now, I do the corner, the inner corner and outer corner of my eye. And then for the middle, I'll just take the extra product. I think this might just be my general makeup routine, to be honest. And I'll just change foundations whenever I want to change it. I'll use whatever I want to use. <laughs> but with the masks, like, these are the products that have been working best for me. So, I'll just use them. Let's just that's probably a bad idea but I just feel like my lace has been playing the fuck out of me and I don't appreciate it anyways so I'm gonna go in the middle like that And then I'll blend the inner corner here and then my outer corner. And repeat the same thing on this side. Great. Okay, so sir, now, now we're going to contour. And to contour, I'm using the Black Opal 
True Color Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Toasted Chestnut. Um, I will either use the Black Opal Foundation Stick or the Fenty Match Stick. I try not to use the Fenty Match Stick too much just because it is on the expensive side. So, I don't want to... I don't really have the money to keep um, re-upping on that. But this is like... I think like... $8, $10, one of those two. Either way, it's not an expensive product at all. And I do think it's a great um, backup if you don't have the Fenty Match Stick. Um, it's easy to use. And yeah, that's how I feel about it. And I used to use. Um, suede mocha but I don't know I just felt like trying a different shade and seeing what works and I do like this it's like a natural contour I just love watching the makeup come together it just looks so good it looks so good trying to decide what mirror to look at for my nose contour but this is fine I can see well and I'll just look for this one up close just in case I need to blend anything or finish something or do something different but everything looks okay so yeah we're just gonna Keep on tracking. So now we're gonna put on foundation, and I am using the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. Um, I've really, really been liking this. It is such a good product, and you can make it either as full coverage or as low coverage as you want to. I like to be a little more full coverage, but that's just me. It is a skin tint but it is buildable and um, like I said, you can build it up to whatever coverage you want it to be. I do prefer a more full coverage look, so I do use quite a bit of it. Um, I like the fact that it is only $20. Um, most foundations, like higher end foundations are like, 45 on 40 to 45 on all depending on who the product is by so um yeah i do really like this product i'm saying this like i'm sponsored i promise i'm not sponsored i just really like this product i think it's a good product and if i feel like i did use too much i will go back with my sponge and just go over that Like, it looks so good. Okay, so now we're gonna take some powder. Like, look how pretty that looks. That looks so pretty. Okay, so now we are going to bronze. So yeah, we're gonna bronze. I'm using the Coconutty from Fenty. I do need to invest in some more because I pit pan. Like, I'm so sad. See, so yeah, I like to bronze tour basically. So I'll still use it like a bronzer, but also because my face is a little more on the round side. I do like to give it some shape, so I'll go ahead and I'll contour or bronze tour. Um, so now we're gonna blush. I didn't bring any blush with me, so I'm just gonna be using my eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm using the Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution palette, and I'm gonna take Yes Peaches and All Spice and mix those together, basically. The other day I went ham. 
but I think I'm gonna use more allspice than um, guess peaches. Just a little bit on the nose, a little bit. Um, oh, I think I, I'm gonna also add, not I think, I am. I'm going to also add eyeshadow on my lid. I'm gonna take Allspice and a model. Model. And put that on my lid. And I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just take a big fluffy brush and blend this out. Cause she's doing a bit of a lot. And this has no extra product on it. I'm just using it to blend out this eyeshadow and make it a little more, you know. Okay, mascara time. I use the L'Oreal um, Air Volume Mega Mascara. This is the waterproof formula. Um, just cause I am, I'm definitely a crier, but for some reason my eyes have been tearing lately, so this is like the best option, and I will not have black mascara lines on my face, because that's like the worst. Like, why would you ever? I don't know what lashes I'm going to do today. Um, maybe these. These look pretty. I like these. Um... I also like these two, but I don't know if I'm gonna go like super big with my lashes today. I think we're just gonna do something calm, something light, you know? Um, or maybe even my own lashes. Um, I haven't started selling these yet, but I'm gonna be doing like repackaging and everything because this isn't the final packaging, just this was just for when I had just started. Um, but yeah, these are my lashes. Um, maybe I'll do these. Yeah, let's do these. I think my lash glue is in my purse, so I'm gonna go ahead and go get that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lash glue. This is the Sephora Collection Lash Glue, and y'all, this lash glue is so good. How many times am I gonna say lash glue in one sentence? But this lash glue is literally so good. I freaking love this lash glue. I want to say get one with um, a brush tip. And I know a lot of people like the duo glue. I am also a firm believer in, du in duo glue. I use the um, regular like spout tip one. Mm, they're being disrespectful right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just look down into my mirror. So pretty. I freaking love my lashes. Um, I'm thinking about making a Twitter page for it instead of an Instagram page, just cause I have quite a few Instagram pages. Um, I feel like I'd rather do a Twitter page. I don't know. I still haven't like fully, fully decided yet. Um, but I'm gonna be like repackaging them. Um, and yeah, I also don't have a website yet. So when like I finalize everything, I will obviously let you guys know. But yeah, I've been working on this for so long. I don't even know how long, but I've been working on this for a little while and like trying to get myself together. I finally have a logo that I like from my brand. So yeah, I finally have a logo I like from my brand. I made the logo myself. Um, and it's just something that's classic. And the idea that I have for my brand, I just, I love so much. Um, obviously, I love it, or else, like, I wouldn't be doing this. 
but I just love it so much. And yeah, um, I'm very excited about it. So maybe one day I can like fully, I'm just wiping off my lip gloss because my lips were dry before I started filming. So I just put some lip gloss on. Here's my lip pencil. I use the Wet n Wild Beauty um, it's actually an eye pencil, it's an eye coal, but I use it as a lip pencil because it's just like the prettiest brown color. And when I fill in my lips, I don't fill in the bow of my lips, I like go straight across, I don't follow the natural shape of my lips, just because I like more of a pout. Um, filling in your lips is very personal, I say do what you want to do, um, as long as you're not offending anyone so yeah okay and for my lipstick i'm gonna be using the lime crime plushies lipstick in the shade butterscotch it's such a pretty color it's like this brownish like orangey like i don't know how to describe it but it's like just the perfect mood for me Yeah, this is basically it. This is my makeup look. Um, yeah, this is my kind of like my go-to. Um, and it's just really soft and pretty and perfect for if you're just gonna be out. And yeah, I also really like how I did my hair today. It's so cute. Like everything is just so cute. <laughs> I feel so cute. Um, so yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel before you leave, and become part of the True Beauty family. Leave me a nice little comment down below on some more videos that you want to see from me personally. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!